Howdy folks, Charles Peckham here. I'm in my hotel room in China where I've been quarantining for two days now uh, after I got out of the infirmary and I have purchased some things to be delivered, some snacks, because um, even though I get three square meals a day, I sometimes would like a snack. I also was craving peanut M&Ms after uh, being in the hospital for four days. So anyway, one thing that I was craving was the, the Pringle style of chips in a can. And the app that one uses to enjoy, or, or to get delivery rather, is... Uh, it's all in Chinese, so you ask, just have to go on picture. So I tried to get the original flavor of just normal uh, Lay's, because they didn't have Pringles. And we got uh, pumpkin flavored and avocado flavored, which... I actually knew this was going to be something different because the chips are green, but I, this one I actually did want to just try something different. So anyway, my uh, good friend and close associate, Mr. Danimal, uh, made a video of himself trying the uh, green onion checks from Korea. So I figured, yeah, you know, why not? I'll go ahead and try... The chips on camera and tell you how they are. To cleanse my palate, I have some water. I also have some white rice that I cannot get because I am not that handy of chop with chopsticks. There we go. I have some leftover from lunch, and even though I always have a ton of white rice left over from lunch. I can't throw it away because I, you know, there's starving kids somewhere. Okay, I also have some green tea that is steeping, and I probably will not finish it during the video process, but if you were wondering what that thing is in the corner, that's what it is. Let's start off with pumpkin potato chips. Or, I think they're crisps, because technically they're made out of, like, potatoes that have been ground up and then put back together in chip form. I think that's, in America, that's the difference. In the rest of the world, chips means french fries or some shit. Okay, so, first of all, they're in a sleeve, which kind of defeats the purpose. Okay. It tastes like a pumpkin. That's pretty good. You know, when you, when I think of what makes crisps or chips good, there's a saltiness is the first word that comes to mind. These are not salty at all. There's a sweet element to it, and it's pumpkiny. If you're a big fan of pumpkin spice, these are probably for you. Yeah. If you didn't know, um, if you weren't aware, uh, pumpkin is a really popular, just cooked pumpkin is really popular in China and they have a lot of great ways to cook it. A lot of times my my favorite is where they what do they do? They like cook it and then you peel off the skin with your chopsticks at the table and take bites. Anyway, it's um I feel like eating pumpkin by itself is not something you see in the USA very often, but in China it's much more common. I don't know why 
Is it when I lean back? Does, I don't know if that's going to show up on the video, but the, the light goes kind of weirdly red every so often. I'm not editing this at all, so if it goes red, it goes red. If it doesn't, it doesn't. All right. Avocado Lay's. I wonder if you can get Pringles in China. I don't even know. Again, in the sleeve. And there's uh, chips on the tab with the flavor uh, thing shown, too. So that's a nice attention to detail. And... And avocado sounds pretty good right now, actually. That does not even remotely taste like an avocado. It's like... like wasabi mixed with sour cream and maybe a little bit of cat food for spice. But it's not spicy. Yeah, wasabi is the, the best way to... Maybe at the factory, um, they got the guacamole and the wasabi mixed up, and so that's why it's flavored like that. And maybe someone somewhere else is eating some wasabi-flavored chips and being like, why does this taste like avocados? Anyway, that was chips. I can't believe this video is over seven minutes long already. Hope you're having a great day. Take care.